Otter is here to give you a brief guide on how to do an explain why question on the international paper which is worth 12 marks. First thing to note on the mark scheme is that it says 8 to 9 marks for 3 developed arguments. So therefore, you need 3 paragraphs with 3 separate points. And when you first look at the script in front of you, it should be about double the length of the last answer, which was worth 6 marks. Makes sense. This is a good example of how your answer might look, although perhaps lacking a little in some detail to reach the top marks, it's clearly got three developed arguments. The examiner can't fail to spot that, and therefore he's probably thinking already, oh this is probably going to be eight or nine marks. So now we're going to look at an excellent example of how to construct a paragraph. I'm going to try and make clear to you what I mean by a history sandwich when I try to teach you this in class, because at the stop top here, this person starts by answering the question. One reason is, and they make a point. That is the top of the sandwich. They've identified two key words in the questions, relations and worse. And therefore, the bottom of the question refers back to those two key words, and there's the two parts of the sandwich there. It makes a point at the start, it elaborates in the middle, and it refers back to the point at the end. Let's look in the middle. So now I've quite clearly outlined where the tops and bottom of the sandwiches are. In the middle, they go on to elaborate about why this was an issue. And I like the use of the word ideology here, that they had no common goal. It's all, all good, mentioning Roosevelt and Stalin by name as well. And referring to Roosevelt's death. I do have to point out one slight error though. It wasn't Kennedy, it was Truman. But other than that, it's a fantastic paragraph. Here's another example of a history sandwich, with the filling in the middle going on here to develop their point to show that they know what they're talking about. I also like the word link being in there, we'll come to that in a moment. Um, and something which refers to another part of the course that we've been learning about, really showing that they've linked together the whole course and they're not seeing everything as a set of separate events. A great example of how to construct a paragraph. When considering a target, have a look at the paragraphs that you or another person have done, and at the top and at the bottom, you should probably be referring to the question, or at least to the key words in the question. Back to the mark scheme, and two other things you should be doing is linking and prioritising. Let's have a look at some examples of where that's been done. I love this answer, there's some great technique at work. Have a look at the top. First point this person makes is that suspicion is a reason why relations grew worse. Now the second reason is linked to the first. So the second reason is to do with the Long and the Novikov telegrams. But he doesn't just leave it there. He goes on to say what the letters were and as a result of either side suspicion is mentioned. So he doesn't just say they are linked. He goes on to explain how they are linked, how the points are linked, and that is what propels this person to the very top of the mark scheme. In your answers you should either see specifically the word linked or you should see some reference to different points across the paragraphs as you see the word suspicion twice here. Or as this person has done, they've made it really obvious to the examiner because they've done both. The examiner cannot fail to see that this person has linked their paragraphs. And that's what your answer should look like. And now to look at prioritising, this is actually somebody's conclusion. It's not particularly long, you don't have time to do a really long conclusion. But the thing that this person does, that a lot of you fail to do, which stops you getting top marks, is he doesn't only say what was the most important reason, he goes on to say why as it made him more paranoid and made him wary of the USA's next actions. He tries to explain what makes that point stand out. Finally, you can pause the video here, because I'm going to list a few potential targets that you could put on your paper or whoever's paper you happen to be marking. Make sure you keep a record of the targets that you've decided are appropriate. 